Hey GQ, it's Kyle Kuzma here, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. And it's actually me. First up, my favorite, Instagram. What was happening there? This looks like I'm like crazy, but um, you know, me and Bron were doing our handshake. Everyone on, on the team has handshakes and I had a good game. Bron had a good game. You know, just felt the need to, you know, dap each other up. Posted. Oh. Oh, I can slide this up. Bro, what's it like in Space Jam? I'm not in the movie, but I think you're talking about how my swag is out of this world. And thank you. You know, it's pretty galactic. Boom. So this next one, drop the skincare routine king. I don't need a moisturizer. I don't need a toner, you know, whatever you guys kind of use. Bar soap, water. Maybe if your face gets a little crusty, you might put a little Palmer's on, cocoa butter, but uh, just wash your face. Simple. Hoops Orchestra. Yo, Coops. Who's your favorite character in Naruto? Him? Uh, I drew him. He's dope. Young sensei, young hokage, you know, king of his village. He's a badass too. So I'm gonna go with him. Maya Strange wants to know what's your favorite song? My favorite song right now is Too Comfortable by Future. Because a lot of people be being comfortable in these streets. Don't get comfortable. Next. Oh, same photo. Where do I get this mask? You get it on my website, kylekuzma.com, and you can get yourself a Kuzmania mask to wear during these hard times. Post it. Bernie Sarah wants to know if my dog is a Swiss Shepherd. No, Snow is a Husky, all Husky, beautiful white dog. You know, a lot of people say she looks like Bolt or some dog from Game of Thrones. I don't know the name, but no, she's not. Moving on to YouTube. Abraham Romero, where can I get that hoodie? I made this hoodie. It was a one of one. You know, it was just something I was just messing around with. It's not for sale, but if you like it, that means other people like it. So maybe I should put it on for sale. I'll let you know. Boom. Anybody know what kind of watch you got on? Yeah, so this watch is called a Patek Philippe World Timer. It's a, like an old head watch. Not too many young people have it. You know, everyone kind of wants to bust down jewelry. I'm in the investment watches. Yeah, big boy watch. We're moving on to Wikipedia. Kuzma sent tapes of his shooting at the YMCA to preparatory schools. Ben Sparcio, head coach at Rise Academy in Philadelphia saw a 66175 pound raw player who had a great feel for the game and immediately brought him in. That's true. That's really, really true. You know, I was growing up and I didn't really have that many offers. You know, I kind of had to, you know, make something wiggle, make something shape. So, you know, I was sending out random shooting clips, whatever, you know, just trying to get seen. My boy Ben, he looked out. Kuzma enrolled at the University of Utah in 2013. He redshirted his freshman year due to the fact that he signed late. That is true. I redshirted. Pretty much means you can't play, you can't practice your first year in college. My grades, they weren't really up to par going into college. And, um, you know, I signed late. You know, big whoop. But we're here now. Kuzma graduated from Utah with a degree in sociology. Ha! You know, I was smart, huh? Yeah, I did graduate. I didn't want to go back to school. You know, I had a register year. No, I didn't want to go back to school because I was getting a degree. So why would I go back to school? The next one says, Kerry Kuzma and Smith put a toy basketball rim in the living room for Kyle when he was only two years old, thus igniting his passion for basketball. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. From a young age, I always played basketball. And I always remember from, you know, the age of two, you know, having a basketball hoop in my, my living room. We would clear out the everything in the living room and we'd actually put tape on the ground as if it was a free throw line on a Fisher Price rim. So I would feel like I was in the game when I was young. I had a cool household. Nice childhood. Twitter. Man, this uh this little stroll, I use my thumb on the screen. This is amazing. 
Jay Nice. Is that Jay Nice or Jan Janice? Janice. Okay, sorry. Butcher your name. My dad was watching Laker reruns, and my mom asked, why is there a model playing? Is he really a Laker? And she was talking about Kuzma. I mean, it's kind of flattering. I mean, you know, kind of call him cute. So, thank you. Could be a model, but I like basketball a little bit more. Post it. We are on to Korra. What music does Kyle Kuzma listen to? I listen to everything. I listen to rap, hip hop, R&B, alternative, electronic. I'm all over the place. I'm really like wherever the vibe is. Submit. How good is Kyle Kuzma as a basketball player? Well, I mean, technically I'm in the NBA, so there's always room for improvement though, right? What is your opinion on Kyle Kuzma right now and looking ahead in his career? I think he's an outstanding young man. He is very well-centered, great family man, person of sense of style, unbelievable basketball player, and on top of everything, he's a dog lover. He's pretty darn humble. Great guy. Great guy. And I guess looking ahead of his career, you'll see a lot more of that. That's it. Signing off the internet.